Hello. In video one, we created the Illustrator file, then imported that file into Adobe Animator. We applied the walk behavior, but that didn't work. Computer. Well, here's the fix and the rest of the rigging. Enjoy! Fix for the walk cycle. If you notice the, um, the views, it says Granville right profile, which is Granville right profile. And then it says here Granville right, right, it says Granville frontal head right profile. It's supposed to be Granville frontal. Instead, it goes Granville um, frontal head right profile. So the walk cycle is confused. It's, it's applying the walk cycle to here and it's applying the walk cycle to to here but it's supposed to apply the walk cycle not here but to here so how do we fix that okay so what we want to do is um, first go back and, and and see the problem the problem is that it's all ones we need two so go to the one that it's not correct this one is correct because it says right profile, so that one is okay. Okay, that's right profile. Okay, this is the one that's incorrect. There is, although it's clicked on frontal, right? Click on here, shoot. Click on here and there. There you go. Have both of them lit up. So now if we go back to the uh, top puppet, you'll see that Granville right profile is activated and Granville frontal is activated. Okay? And you notice that it went from one to two. So let's go to record and see that was our fix. All right. And there you go. So let's go back to rig. And uh, that's the fix for that. Do not put your uh, do, do not be tempted to put a walk cycle on front profile or frontal or anywhere else. Although you might make it work, that's a hack. And in the long run, your walk cycle is going to look uh, janky and not correct. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Start rigging the uh, character. Let's um, go to record to confirm that the character is uh, there. Let's go to record and confirm that the character is there. Pairing scene. Okay, there he goes. It's not moving anywhere. There's a walk cycle here. We can delete that one. Remove, remove behavior. Okay. We want to start from scratch. That was the walk cycle from the uh, previous previous video okay all right start from scratch so uh, number one put on your walk cycle you're in rig mode walk it's gonna start immediately by speed at zero that means it's not gonna go anywhere it's gonna stay in place have our views remember last time our views were messed up this time our views the uh, walk cycle found the two views that it needed to find. That's good. We don't have to do any fixing. Let's look at the handles. Should all be uh, zeros because there's no handles. All right. Click on the body, on the front profile, on the frontal. Okay. Click on the body. And scroll, uh, I like to scroll up so I can see my uh, guide here. Uh, select your handle tool. Put it where you think you, the, um, say, the waist will be. So about right here. Then put it where you think the uh, hip will be. It was right there. Whoops, I forgot to click on what I put there. Make sure you click on the waist because it doesn't know. Go back here, do your selection tool, click on there, then click on the hip. 
so it knows. Because it doesn't know which one you want to apply it to. You can apply it to uh, anything. So let's go and get our head. So click on head. Okay, scroll so I can have my guide here. And click on, that's where the uh, head will be. Okay, so uh, let's go and check this out. It should go bouncy and bouncy. It should bounce up and down. And just like I said with the other video, if it doesn't bounce up and down like this, then you did something wrong and you have to start and figure out what went wrong. Okay, let's go back to rig. Let's go do the uh, body. Let's go do the bot. Uh, make sure you click on the body. Okay, so let's do the uh, uh, left arm. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to zoom in. Doesn't want to zoom in. Okay. You want to zoom in with the keyboard, so there we go. So select the left arm. Use our stable tool to stable it to the puppet. There you go. Okay. Now, this is where you might make a mistake and go straight to the uh, handle tool. Do not do that. Set click the uh, left arm again and change this from well to hinge. Okay. Now, select your handle tool and uh, use this as a guide again and do what you did uh, with the uh, here but with the, uh, with the uh, for the arm okay elbow click on elbow wrist okay don't wrist now I'm gonna put the uh, bones in here what the bones do is it makes the um, your Illustrator file or your Photoshop file, not uh, squish or squash. It's just like a bone in your own body. Okay, except your body doesn't have a bone that goes through your whole hand like this, but um, this will prevent the hand from uh, from squishing. Okay, here's a hint for you: a bone cannot cross paths like this. It's kind of like Ghostbusters. It cannot cross streams see so don't do that take this one out oops got both of them oh well let's go edit undo add stick there and it doesn't matter you can always come back and adjust your um, your handle tools and your sticks okay so like this So let's do the um, uh, left arm, left, right arm now. Same thing, it's selected. Go do your staple. I always like to use this as a guide. It's going to be stapled approximately over here. Okay. Now, before you go here, once again, Click the arm again, then go change your hinge. Then you can go here. Whoops. Then we can go here. Use this as, a, as your guide. This will be where his elbow is approximately. Activate it. And this is where his wrist will be. Activate it. Okay. Might as well put the bone in here too. It's up to you if you want to put a bone or not. It all depends on your character. But I kind of know the character. And I know he's going to need a bone. Okay, let's do the uh, left leg. Select on the leg. 
Use your staple tool. Select on the leg again. Change that to hinge. Select on your handle tool. Use this as your guide. Okay. This is where the knee is going to be. Activate the knee. Let's move this up a little bit. And let me zoom in some more. Select your handle tool. Okay. It's going to be the left ankle. It's not clicking it. Left heel. There you go. And the toe. Okay. Once again, if you want to do your bones, I know that I don't want this to uh, squish. I don't want this to squish. And when he bends his knee, bends his uh, thigh, I don't want that to squish. I just want it to bend like a leg. All right. Let's go do the right leg. Move this over this way. Okay, once again, click on the right leg. Start with your staple tool. Staple to where you think it will be, just like if you were doing a real puppet in real life. Click on it again. Change that to, this is important, you might forget this part. Change it to hinge like a hinge on the door, right? Not, you don't want your puppet to be welded, your legs to be welded. And slick on the handle tool. Move this up so you can use that as a guide. Knee, and so on. So knee, activate the knee. Activate that. Ankle, activate the heel. And activate the toe. All right, let's go and put our bones. Whoops, I mean, our. Have I been calling it bones all this time? It's not uh, in Lightwave, it's called bones. And in another 3D program, it's called bones. But in Character Animator, these are called sticks. So use your sticks. Place it properly where you don't want it to uh, squish and squash. All right. So we did the uh, left arm. Let me zoom out. Let's go check on our work. Press record. And there you go. Now let's go do the um, right profile. Thanks for watching. We read the right profile next. Please subscribe. I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers so I can start my Patreon channel and monetize these videos. Mama's gotta eat.